We back y'all and look this is the NOPZ EMT paramedic search and rescue. And we are still out here. They definitely out there. What was the update, Lucky? What's the you got an update on it? What's going on? We came the other day, got home, I lost a rebar right now. There was a fence right here. So they got they got hung up on some rebar. So they're gonna try and get a hard head out. That's somebody who went deeper. With the other gear on, or they're gonna try and get a claw, a claw, claw that can pull it up, pull it out of there. The neighbors is right there. They hung up on something. That's why they're at the bottom of it. Right there. Okay. So what happened is there's there's a rebar like this. Why this is gonna be? Oh, okay. Gotcha. So when the dog even went in there, mm -hmm. he got stuck. Okay. So now we need to get a uh, we need to get a claw machine. There. I need to, I'm gonna ask John how deep it is. If they take too long, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a rake with a, with a um, rope and I'm just gonna drop it down in there and just and climb the bottom of it and see if I can pull it up. How deep is the water right there where they're finding this? That's, that's what I'm gonna find out now. Okay. It's 230 feet. Okay. It's not bad for John who has a sonar. Okay. He's gonna, he's gonna let me know how deep it is. Okay. Even though the depth. The depth. In my boat, if I, my boat have a have a depth finder. So I was able to put a boat right there, you, could, you have a depth find. It'll tell you 30 feet, 40 feet. But I couldn't get my boat in here. Okay. You know, we had to bring my little flat boat. Right. And carry it over there. Right. Right. That's what we're waiting on. That's just a okay. waiting game. Thank you so much. Thank you. We, we are definitely, definitely out here, y'all. And we are out here to... Uh, <laughs> What's going on there? Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're definitely Jay, out here. Hey, baby. I'm back again. I said I'm going to come every day until we find them babies, girl. I'm back. I laughed so hard at you. I, my son showed me online. Oh, <laughs> say, Mary Katrina's second line and like, oh, she doing hopscotch. <laughs> Stupid what's bitch, you, bring out dogs. What the fuck is you doing, Shaggy? Girl, that hoe was motherfucking crib walking, bitch. <laughs> Mary Katrina, I ain't never stole nobody's second line. I she do I a first. I have never met a, a black celebrity in our system that's just as cool as Shaggy. I've never been in no one company. Oh, thank you so much. Tell it to them, they think I'm like, hey, I'm really cool. They be thinking I'm some type of mean bitch. I just say what it is, girl. I never met nobody that is cool and shaky. I'm serious. All the rest of them that be coming out here, it's like, they, I guess they just trying to hide how they feel about the situation, but shaky. We didn't did walk that experience with my little sister. She's a parent of, the, her son just drowned in her Right, family. right. She was standing there yesterday. We showed our support out here to the family. But d man, you on the other note. Let me get you. Let me, let me get you together. <laughs> oh, he's a celebrity. He's too celebrity. He's too hood. No, don't he's too worry Hollywood. About him. Him. No, yeah, he's too, too I got Hollywood. to ask him for an autograph now. <laughs> <laughs> Period. You gotta ask you, you man. You know next we know next uh, after midnight talk to you. What's going on? Here we got the sister B speaks, who been doing a lot since this began. I've been out here since eight thirty. I had to go home and lay down. Yes. What? We waiting on the um, divers, but they not doing. They, it's not local divers. <laughs> why, why, why we can't get some? They ain't got no divers in the Orleans Police Department. Or they just don't. Or they just say F it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what's look, look, look. Basic look. Okay. So they, they, they he told me he was gonna put this in the water before I left. Mm -hmm. So I was waiting for him. But he called and told me to put it in there. So hopefully, whatever they see, I'm praying they give this family some closure because we we thought we saw some earlier. But yeah, it turned out not to be nothing. They had the gators down there, and gators don't migrate in this kind of water in packs. Mm. So it's about five of them. But what it is is, I think it's mating season for them. Okay. For the gators. So when they, so hopefully, if we get the divers on here, the divers couldn't dive on their own because of the water condition. It's murky water. It ain't something you could just see. You gotta get something for them to right. be able to. So if you say go left, go right, you give them a direction to go to. So right. with the. Let me ask you this. Okay, as an activist in the, in the city, and you are known for speaking out against things that you are injustice, and you are very much known for that, um, as, as, as far as anywhere, why is there no signs, no fence? You mean on this side of the room? Yeah. Mm, you tell me why. No, I don't know, man. You, you, this, you know, the, you're the activist. All right. Why? The white color ain't on this side. Oh, the white color. <laughs> so you think if it was Caucasians, we have... If you go by the... If you go by the... If you go by the, um... the lake? Oh, you go by the aquarium. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you better walk up too close in the water. Right. 
So, but but with that being said, is there no civil liability from from? There gotta be, but I think I think also when you come off the street, there's actually signs that say private property is exercised. So it's coverage, but I don't know if it's based upon the city. I also think that there has to be an outcry more so of protection. Period. There's nothing stopping anybody from getting in this water. There's nothing that actually tells you. If you go out in this water, there is shallow water that you can put your foot in. Mm -hmm. And the next step may be a... Uh, so, uh, but there's no sign that say deep water here. There's no... There's no... Nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing. You know? Nothing that tells me And I think it's dangerous. Tax dollars to get it. A sign, at least, or something that says, be careful. No, hey, baby, see, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, my love, how are you? I'm on live. They see you though. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> Even if you see the fence from right here, that fence wasn't always the that stops for by the train. Mm -hmm. And you see the fence only. Oh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, only stop. That wasn't here. But you can just go around the fence. That doesn't stop nothing from but going. That, in. that fence was asked to be put up by Greg. That wasn't even asked to be put up by So we got, oh, we got work to do. Are they doing enough? Somebody said they could have stopped. The, they've stopped the traffic on the river before, before they, that affects the current. The mayor could have asked the Coast Guard to do that. I think there wasn't enough presence. I think that I think the first few hours, the first couple of days, is critical. Where you should have had as many people. I actually think the Coast Guard should have been summoned down here as rescue teams. But I think we should have had boats based upon the water that we need. Mm -hmm. You can't just put any type of boat out here. But, it's easy to say, "Oh, put a boat in," but, but you got to have a boat that can sustain these currents. That could sustain. That ain't gonna be punctured at the bottom. I had somebody that was turned around because his boat had his fiberglass at the bottom and not aluminum. Right. Because there's stuff in this water that will puncture your boat and now we gotta save you. So it's just a lot of getting behind people who know what they're talking about. Right. But I be I believe that we have those people that exist and they should have been released. I also feel like Freddie Freddie King should have been out here. Freddie King is LJ's councilman. I don't feel like we should just jump straight and go at the mayor's head. If I'm a councilman in your area, you should come out. I'm coming out here and I'm saying, okay, this is what's going on, Mayor Cantrell. I, I'm in my area and this is the resources because I got, I need this, I need this because I got three kids missing. Right. That's just how I feel. You right. Know? right. I feel like the community has shown more presence than. Definitely. Definitely, I've only seen volunteers and community people. Yeah. I have, and I've been out here two days. So, I, and I have yet to see anybody that's from. These are the first two NOPD officers I've seen that actually even got they out there. Actually, here this morning, the guy from um, Todd, great guy from um, United uh, Cajun Navy, which is a he's a nonprofit. That's it. That's, that's volunteer. He found out yesterday, so he got his resources out here this morning with Jefferson Parish. So this is his first day out here, and he put a cylinder on the water. And that's Jefferson Parish, though. Still, that's even a that's his, and it's him, yeah, but I'm just still saying, how you come today? How you come yesterday, and today you got some in the water? But, they could probably pick up an image, you know? I, right. I ain't trying to point no fingers, man. I'm just trying to I mean, say but, something got to be done. But it got to be partly, though. Why, why is it that, because let me tell you something. And I said this, and I don't know what I, I, if I sound racist, I don't care. But if those was three white kids, they would have stopped every piece of traffic from the Gulf all the way up to Minnesota and, and went in the, and drug the whole river from, from here to The foot. white kids didn't fall in that water. Right. White kids. Right. You know. Right. You Definitely. got three small black children with the image being painted that they were they unkept and the parents being dragged. Come on, man. Right. I just think that, like you said, if it was the right children, right. Even if it was the right black children. Right. Right. That's and so. Two, two, two little, three little black kids. Right. I, I hate that for us, and I hate that that this is the situation that we in. What's the change, B? How do we change this? First of all, we got to know that we're more powerful than, than we believe. Because the only reason this is getting out is because of the outcry from social media. Right. We got to take the tools that we have and use it for something that's going to bring change to us. We got to stop being reactive and be proactive. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like there needs to be an outcry. Right. There needs to be an outcry for one for swimming lessons for all our children. Right. And when we were younger, you had pools in every community. Right. You had where you have survival skills. You also have, we have the right to ask for warning signs. We have the right to ask for fences. We have the right to ask for those things. We, or should I say demand those things, not ask for because our tax dollars pay for them. Right. We have a right to hold these people accountable that we pay to come in this area so we can feel like when, when something happens to us, we see where our money is going, where our resources are going. I also think that we need eyes everywhere. We need community activists with eyes everywhere. We got to go back to being a village. Hey, I'm outside. I see your kids 
Hey, get from over there. Mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. Right. You got to get back to being able to tell each other kids something. Being comfortable saying it. Because kids do things they ain't got no business sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying in this case because you know I don't know all the details. I'm just saying in general. We got to be the eyes for us. Right. It takes a bit. Because unfortunately, we all we got right now. We all we got. As you can see. It took... That man, these, these children have siblings. A lot of them. So we talking about mental health. We talking about counselors. All they needed to be awarded to this family in the midst of this. These people, clergymen are coming out here on volunteering. They need mental health. This man having, didn't even want to eat. Looking for his kids. Right. It, right. We are normalizing trauma. Yeah, we definitely are. And it, it, it does take that thing. I, you know what I thought it was most empowering to me? I saw the classmates of the kids coming out here. Yeah, in, the I, I, in their school uniform, right after school, they came out here. They didn't go home. They didn't go to the Nintendo. They came out here and were, and were help, at least helping with the advocacy for their classmates. And I'm just wondering, where are our officials if the kids have enough sense to come after school in their uniform? The kids in their uniform, y'all. Y'all see the kids in their uniform. They didn't even go home and change. And so they are in a uniform. Where is our community leaders? If the kids have enough sense to come out here, why don't the community leaders come and show face? Even even to show your face and hug baby. That's it. And just say, yeah. matter, children matter, you know. No, y'all ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> nah. Like that. And I want that too. It, but I'm, I'm proud of also seeing the kids out here. I'm also proud to see the community is out here in unison. There ain't been no foolishness. And I mean, out here. Yeah. I mean, Whatever they need, because right now that family is living off the strength of everybody else. Everybody else. That's all they need. I know everybody got something going on. Right. But sometimes somebody is, it shows you somebody have it worse than you. Right. Right. Man, this is something. We have Byron Cole on the scene. What you seeing over there, Brian? Thank you, B. Appreciate y'all. Y'all make sure y'all follow B underscore speaks, y'all. Uh, what you seeing, Byron? I can't. Sit down, Turner. Turn the show. Can y'all hear Byron? Because I can't hear. And play on your phone. Baby, that current is whooping right now. Y'all better get that boat out there, water. Look like that boat about to be for them. Do you, so, Nutty, you've been here two days. What have you discovered? What have you seen in this whole melee? To be honest, I haven't seen anything yet. Right now, we still don't see anything. You see for now. No rescue. She got a rescue. Yeah. You know, I ain't seen nobody get rescued yet, but animals. What's up? Sit down. Bam, what you got to say about the whole situation? You better tell uh, about it. But what you got to say? I just want to find them children because they're not doing yeah, a good job right now. They're, they're definitely not. They're definitely not doing a good job. I don't know what they're seeing or what they're looking for, but they're definitely not doing a good job. Put a rope around my leg and let me jump in and pull me out. I'm going to pull everything out. <laughs> girl, no, girl. <laughs> I can't let you do it. That water looks muddy for real. Yeah. You catch all kind of ginger viruses. This will be coming up with an alligator on my way. <laughs> Talk about. <laughs> Let's go get some. Let me <laughs> y'all gonna get me in trouble with the, with the people. I'm trying to get my Pulitzer Prize and they won't buy, my best friend my nephew don't want to let me get mine. All right. All right. So yeah, we are definitely they're still out here. Uh Hang up, the, Byron. We can't hear you, Byron. Let me see how you. I, I don't know how to do it. He done put the phone down. What you put the phone down for? Oh, that's the father, y'all. That's the father. In case y'all, that is the father, and that is his a family friend as well. That is the father, y'all. They, they must have called him as far as when they talk about the uh, actual thing. We got pizza on morning, but don't you have anything to say? What's going on? What's the actual updates? What's going on, sir? I've been trying to lick my own nipples, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's not hard. I can show you how to do it. <laughs> I can actually show you. <laughs> we are we are definitely live. Flystar, what's going on? You see the house. <laughs> I really, I'm a lady. I don't do that stuff. 
Oh, you, you sure thought with that? Shout out, shout out to the double no 17 waist trainer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a bus like this stomach and I'm on it. <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really could be like cousins or brothers or something, no shade. Oh, for real? In real life? <laughs> Man, they say that. They say that. Well, we, we appreciate y'all for being out here, definitely. We do need, sometimes you gotta laugh and keep them crying. And that's definitely what it is, and I appreciate y'all for coming out there. Here. Yeah, so we definitely going down. As y'all can see, it's it's still the people are not moving. The people are out here. As y'all can see. The kids, everybody y'all. They're not moving. They're trying to see what's going on. It's hot. Yeah, we still out here. As I stated, I will be out here every day until the babies are found. That's what I would do. And bring awareness to the situation. Somebody said, where the pastors are. Where are the preachers? Where are the preachers? Where are the preachers? We just see the NOPD. Um, let's see what it is. How y'all doing? All right. So we do see some NOPD. Um, I'm not sure what they are. You see everybody out here from the young to the old, you know? Everybody from the young to the old, um, the community. I see somebody from uptown, from downtown. You see everybody out here. Algiers, the one point five is out for here. Um, the NOPD, these are police. They have just come arrived when it came that they found whatever they found on the sonar. That's the part of the bridge, the Crescent City Connection, where they think that everything happening. Um, this is where the site that they found that sonar. As you can see, some people are even going as far out there to the barge area. Who is Byron? Byron Cole, where he at? He in here? Byron has no request. Byron is a um, advocacy, advocate, uh, he's an advocate for fathers and stuff like that. Byron is with the father of the boy right now. I just want to to see everything. Byron is like father. He do father's advocacy. We do all the different type of advocacy work as well. Do different kind of advocacy work. Y'all see Seth. Seth's been out here all days that you can name. Two Seth's provide. He's also been out. As y'all can see. As y'all can see, we haven't stopped seeing people. The people are out here. The kids have come out here. The old folks are out here. The middle aged out here. The the rich, the bougie. Where are, where are the preachers? Where are the preachers? Where are the churches? Where are the community leaders? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are the people that are paid this? Where are they at? You see, we all leave. You came in and wasn't saying nothing. <laughs> they told me to drop you because all they heard was nothing. You put the phone down and went running around. Baby. <laughs> Where are the... Says so 4-5 out here. Byron, have you heard something from the, the preachers and the, the, the pastors and the, and the deacons and the, any of them come yes, out? Yes, I do have to say, I yeah. got to admit, look, let me tell you something. I'm glad you said that. So I can't speak in depth, but I do know that their spiritual counselor has been sitting here quietly the whole time. It's the man down there in the green shirt. 
So yeah, somebody has come out. It's they pastor. And uh the mayor's chaplain came out and admitted okay. to us that the mayor could have done more. <laughs> All my life. Go watch. Wow. 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 Yeah. He started trying to talk to us about going. And I stopped him. I said, who are you? He said, I'm the chaplain for the mayor. I said, before you say anything to us, man of God, could the mayor have done more? He wouldn't answer. So I said, go ahead on. He said, wait, wait. I said, could the mayor have done more? He said, yes. On my video, go look, yesterday. That's the man of God for the city. You heard me? There you have it. Outside of the mayor, have we heard Yeah, of I don't want to go up on him and disrespect his space, but that's their pastor. He's very civic. I also saw him at the school board meeting. And he's very concerned about these children. He ain't been out here on no press ops, no photo ops, no nothing. He's sitting there with his umbrella, waiting for closure for this family and praying for them. That's what he's doing. He ain't even down here with the cameras and the rigmarole. I have a question. All right, so outside, yeah. outside of the mayor, this councilman, uh, the LGS councilman, Mr. King, is, have you heard from him? So, so what I know in real time is that J.P. Morrell jumped on this, and he began facilitating things for the family. I already mentioned the ordinance and stuff that they developed. I already mentioned his research of trying to figure out who owns the property so that we could get a fence put here to prevent more deaths. And uh, he also was instrumental in helping us get the porta potty And uh, also one more thing J.P. did, I don't know. So I am told by J.P., that Freddie assisted him in some of those things, but I don't know Freddie King's role. He is the councilman for this particular district, but he was involved. That's what the vice president told me, J.P. Morrell. And uh, Oliver Thomas had some involvement as well with the, uh, with the porta potty. Um, we talked to Sheriff Guzman today, trying to get a tent for the C Cajun Navy people to set up, right? And um, there's a shortage on tents because they're setting up for Jazz Fest. But Marlon said he's still going to try to facilitate us. And I think his tenure lasts till tomorrow. And um, if that's so, then we'll be calling uh, Miss Susan Hudson, if need be, to continue um, to try to get reciprocity on that effort with the tent. I have no other real concrete data, you know, that we haven't already relayed. What have the, the, we see the parents say the again? Say we see the fathers are here, uh, and we know the mother of the mothers are distraught. And are we hearing about them and their mental health? Is trying to deal with wait, wait, wait. So I'm having difficulty hearing you. You went in and out. What are you asking? I said that there is, of course, we hear the out in the public are present. The mothers in their mental health are concerned about that. No dealing with social media and everybody blaming everybody. Has anyone checked on their mothers, the mother's mental health? Okay, so here's the deal. Yeah. We live in a pseudo village where people can pledge their allegiance, like in the school, and it not really mean anything. So I've stood in NFL games and refused to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and for the National Anthem and been ridiculed despite the fact that I'm a decorated war veteran for real war, Gulf War, right? And so I'm saying all that to say that, you know, we think we have a village in New Orleans, but we can't see the construct of it when, when we find ourselves in turmoil. So I have for years talked to educators and to counselors and told them that I was trying to set up a structure from the grassroots level where they would come in on a voluntary basis and help out our people, right? And they all were like, yeah, Byron, let's go. Great idea. The educators held their part up, but we've yet to see the counselors come forward. I've had two or three but I know 40 in New Orleans and nobody wants to come forward because I specifically asked for it to be free of charge.
And I did that for a reason. And so I need some professional to respect that and come forward and be selfless and second first. You heard me? Okay. And so, so I'm I guess my question is pretty record. What who is asking about the brothers their health? Are they being checked on? Uh, reaching out to them or providing to the things like that. I'm a performer of mental health. I'm a performer of mental health. Mental health. Uh, as a person who has been through mental Wait, health. Wait, you myself, cutting out, Shay? I think it's your phone. Come on. Say Come again? On. I, was, I was talking about specifically has anyone checking on the mothers and what about the mental health? That's my question. Anybody? Yeah, so Anybody? what I'm trying to tell you is right now the mother is relegated to her support structure because she can't get any closure or get any real uh, plan of structure for any damage control because we ain't found our babies. So right now she's at home being loved and nurtured by very close loved ones and she's being catered to and protected, right? And then when we find our babies, we're going to go the next step and get her whole family, meaning her and her kids, proper counseling for what they're experiencing. We're not going to leave this. Ain't nobody going to drop the ball. We all really know Alan for real. Like, people coming out here and dapping Alan up, and I'm realizing that he knows a lot of people, not just me. So they, what they going with the break now? Brandy, Alley, Kevin. So right now, what we're seeing is our correspondence. Let me put you down. Uh, make sure your father, father, he, uh, he, uh, advocacy work in the city, you know, in the city of New Orleans. So, right now, what you're seeing is them gonna go out and rake the area. Let's see if I get it. I don't see the guy in the white shirt. I don't know who he is. Uh, I do. Not even that. <laughs> Drive forty bucks. What you gonna do? I don't know what he does. <laughs> well, that's what you were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I had a reason.